I just want to talk a little bit about Catholic Brothers for Christ and what we do. Um, you know, we put on these conferences, but we do more than just that. We're trying to expand our ministry to do more. Uh, our goal is to have some type of ministry at every parish in Dallas-Fort Worth. Some kind of week, week, uh, you know, week-long ministry or once a week ministry, a Saturday morning event, a Tuesday morning, whatever the case may be. We're here to help you do that. And that's what this is really about. Uh, the conferences are great, and we want you to come because that's it's a wonderful time, and it, it, it helps us. But really, the ministry that we're doing is trying to get men engaged on an ongoing basis, like every week, every day, not you know, not just once a year. So, so this ministry has grown over the years. We we have over 30 or 50 men that are on the leadership team from time to time. I mean, people keep asking to volunteer, which is wonderful. Our, everyone in Red Church today are volunteers, and they keep coming back. Some, we have a bunch of new ones this year, and that's great. That's what we need to keep this ministry alive for Dallas-Fort Worth. So we're, we're reaching out to you today just to talk about just a love offering so we can keep this ministry alive, so we can keep... Um, adding to what we do with our technology or whatever the case may be, or just the spiritual piece of it as well. I mean, we're asking, you know, to help with your uh, donations or whatever. There's ways to do that. You can either do it today. We have baskets that are going to be passed around, or you can do it on our website. All that money goes for two things. It goes for investing in this organization of, uh, for the North Texas Catholic Brothers for Christ, and again, it's a nonprofit. We don't make any money. Nobody makes money on this. We we hope to break even at a conference, for instance, and then anything above and beyond that we put in to charity. So last year, for instance, we gave to um, the Jitsubi Foundation, which is uh, the Catholic Foundation. They sponsor children, uh, Hispanic kids, to go to Catholic schools. We've been doing this for about three years now. We put I think we put over 15 kids into Catholic schools with your donations. Any, like I say, anything above and beyond what we, what it cost us for this conference is what we put in that love offering. It also helped with Miracles for Mary, which is another charitable organization that helps people with uh, trauma, with trauma head injuries. Uh, we also supported Loretta House and the Bella House as well. We're staunchly pro-life, and we want to support those groups that, that help people in crisis pregnancy. So we've all, we also give to the radio station. So the, uh, we, with the help of the radio station, KATH, 910, Dave Palmer, uh, we give a lot of money to them as well. We support them wholeheartedly. They support us as well. So that's where the money goes. It's not, like I say, we're not in it to make money we're in it just to keep this ministry alive to keep to keep the the uh the lights running you know like i said we don't have a payroll everybody's volunteer but but we need your support uh, if you can so if you if you could help us just put something in the basket or again go to our website you can use your credit card your debit card all that's on the website um so again thank you for your support over the years and with that, what do we do next? <laughs> okay, so I want to talk to you a, bit, a little bit about a program. There's some cards on your tables on Stride. We're going to play a video first. Oh, oh, we're going to that. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, second thing I want to talk about, sorry, is the Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance. So what is the Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance? Um, this is a group that formed two years ago. It's a group of Catholic leaders from across the country that do the same thing that we're doing today. They put on men's conferences. They, they help men's ministries. This is a wonderful group because it helps all of us be better at what we do. It helps us do a better conference. It helps us do a better program in, the, in your local parish. So it's the CMLA. You can go to it. Um, from our website, you can reach to it, but there's a, there's the website's up there. I don't know what it says, but 
go to that website, support that group. We had 11 guys go to the conference that was in Grapevine this past June. Then the first one was in Milwaukee, uh, and me and Bob Dwayne went to that one for the first one. Father Larry Richards is, is totally behind this. Deacon Harold Burke Sivers is also one of the sponsors as well. And it's just a wonderful group. And again, it helps us share best practices across the country. You know, we, we've got for, we've got a connection now with every diocese in Texas, for instance. We have a monthly meeting that meets with, with the diocese of uh, Tyler, of, of uh, Central uh, Texas, Austin, uh, San Antonio, Houston. So all of us leaders are meeting together to discuss our conference, what our themes are going to be, what our speakers are going to be, that sort of thing. So that's a beautiful thing. So we're not competing against each other. So it's, it's just a wonderful group. So check out the CMLA. And if you want to become a part of that, you can as well. Um, they, every month they have a speaker on a conference call that goes nationwide. And they have speakers like Scott Hahn, uh, Father Larry Richards, um, just uh, dynamic Catholic. I mean, er all the, the big Catholic names. So if you want to get involved with that, check out Catholic Men's Leadership Alliance.